So, you want to make some water splishes, but you don't want to go outside and make some water splishes because it might be snowing where you are, and every time you make water splishes, it always freezes instantly. Has that ever happened to you? Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're back once again, taking a look at some 2D animation, which we uh, haven't done enough of, especially recently. It's been a while, but we're getting started with it today, so I'm going to go ahead and start up a new image, and this image is going to be uh, a 1920 by 1080, 300 resolution, of course, uh, PPI or DPI, whatever you want to say. Um, now, it's going to open up to most likely this, but uh, to go to the animation workspace, you're going to want to just, of course, go op up here to the top right-hand corner, change this from uh, default or whatever it is to animation, and then boom, you got animation going on nice and good, so... Uh, the first thing we need to do is, of course, get our sketch down for our animation so we know what, what I want to do. So I'm going to start on the first frame here, and uh, I'm just going to draw. Actually, we, we're going to skip a frame. We're going to skip a frame. We're going to go on the, we're gonna go on, that was a zero frame. We're going to go on the first frame, the actual first frame here, uh, number one. Uh, and then I'm going to draw like a little tiny little lump here. Uh, I'm, on a, I'm on eraser mode, so uh, go back to brush. There we go. And then we're just going to, just like that, just a little tiny lump. Now what we need to do is, you can see, I've drawn a frame here, but there's not actually a frame listed down here, so it didn't actually draw anything. It, I just drew on the canvas, but it didn't add it didn't add that frame. So, we have to go ahead and right-click this, and then create duplicate frame. Now, you can see now we have that frame. The problem is that this zero frame also has that, the same exact thing. I don't want that. I want it to be gone, so I'm going to right-click that one, hit remove frame, and now the first frame, the zero frame, has nothing. First frame has the little thing, and then we can move on from there. So now... On this next frame, after that black one we just had, you see it's red, which means that's the previous frame. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pull it up a little bit and kind of just go upwards like that, right? Which looks pretty good. Then after that, I kind of want to go and delete that one. And we'll kind of maybe pull it up a little bit more like this. Now, I want to kind of keep the start and end pieces the same here. So you can see I'm trying my best to make sure that it doesn't move over here, you know. Because that's going to start looking weird. So I want to keep them in the same relative area. And I kind of want to pull it up like this now. Right? Just a rough sketch. Kind of trying to get what I want down. To start off the animation. Hit delete. Go to the next frame. Um, go to the next frame and then delete rather. Not not the other way around. You'll mess it up. Um, but yeah, we're going to pull it up like this maybe a little bit. And I think now I want to kind of break it off. So hit delete once again. And now here, I'm going to go ahead and... Pull it back a little bit like this. Uh, like that. So pull it down a little bit. And then I want to break this piece off. So we'll kind of just make a little circle going upwards like this. Right? And that'll be the little piece that disconnected. Um, now this, is, this isn't going to break clean. So I want to add some particles. So we're going to do that as well. So we'll just put a little circle there. Maybe a little, maybe a little oval right here. Uh, like that. Maybe. Right? And then the next frame, delete, and then we'll, of course, uh, do the same thing. So we'll kind of just pull it up a little bit, but we're going to make go down very slowly with this now because I don't want it to be up there that high anymore. So then with the actual water itself, I want to move it up just a little tiny bit, just so it has a little bit of movement to it, just like that. And then this little frame, this little droplet, we're going to kind of pull up a little bit. This one we're going to pull over to the side. And now you can see we're, we're kind of getting a little bit of animation going on here. I want to go to the next frame once again. Delete. And then uh, instead of making this little big drop go up, I'm going to kind of make it just flatten itself out. Because I want I don't want to go up that high because it's going to look kind of weird. So we'll kind of just flatten it up a little bit like this. Make it stop rising a little bit. Because I want it to fall back down now. This uh, particle will go over that, that way. This one will probably go up. You kind of just want to follow where they would go in real life so like imagine this particle right here this one we're doing right now this one's kind of going in this direction and this one's kind of going like this so just kind of try and keep that in mind when you're trying to decide what direction it's going to go in um that's the easiest way to remember instead of being like, hey this is how it's going to look when it's animated but uh but yeah so this one's also moving a little bit faster so you see there's more distance in between it so if i were to scrub through these it starts off with this this red frame right here and it goes to this one Right, and then it's gonna go to this one. So as you can tell, this one has a lot more space in between this black and this green than these do over here. So these are much more close together, which means this is gonna be moving slower and this is gonna be moving faster. So that's what I want. I don't want them to all move at the same speed because it'll look kind of weird when we play it back. So. So 
something like that. I want to move this over. No, move it over a little bit because it's not in, exactly in the right space. So I'll grab this little lasso tool right here. Select, uh, make, make a circle around it. Hit this little button right here. Move it over a little bit. Go back to the brush. Select, deselect, and now we're ready to start uh, going again. So, and one more frame just to cap it off. In the next frame, we'll hit go, hit delete. So now it's empty. And our in frame is going to be, I think I want to make this uh, 20. So we'll go to the in frame, set it to 20, set it to 20. Now if we play this, you can see we've got a lot going on. And I, I do want to do a little bit more things, a couple more things here. So we'll just undo onion skinning mode so we can't see it. And now you can see, oh yeah, I like that. All right, so we have this nice animation of the water coming up and kind of floofing up and then falling back down, which is really nice. I like this a lot. Um, I do want to add a little bit, a couple more things to it though, because I'm feeling like I'm feeling like it could use some more particles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go and look around for some places where I can add some more. So maybe right about here it's kind of stretching up, you know, maybe it's breaking off into something, and I'll kind of just a little bit of just just something, you know, just something real small, something like that. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I think it looks good, maybe. Um, now, I do want to do maybe a bigger particle as well. So, oh, you know what I want to do? I kind of want to connect these a little bit like this, you know. Just do something like that. Hit E to get the eraser. Actually, I, I think I changed my hotkey. It wasn't, it wasn't always E, I don't think. But just you can go up to the tool, the toolbox, eraser. Uh, make sure you're on brush and then just hit this little box right here. It goes to eraser. Um, all right, so... I like that. I want to do that. That's pretty sweet. All right, so cool. We'll just do something like this. Make it get... See, the faster it goes, the longer I want to portray the particle. So, um, if it's falling slow, I want it to be roundish. If it's falling fast, I want it to be, like, super long. Like, like you know, something crazy like that, you know? Um... And it, when it starts slowing down, I want to make it uh, small again. Small again and not as uh, not as long. So I think something like that looks good. And then, uh, all right, perfect. So this is kind of like the just testing process. I think that looks good. I like it. I think that looks like what it would do. And at the same time, I still want to do more. You got to know when to stop, but I also think we can do a little bit more. So... Uh, the same time this is disconnecting, I kind of want this to go up like this as well. So we'll kind of just grab that piece right there. This might be not exactly how the way that I want it either, but we'll just see. Um, I think that one looks a little fast. So this disconnect doesn't look that great either. Um, let's go ahead and just kind of try and match that better. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. We'll kind of just thicken this one up a little bit. And that is too ball-like. And then once you've done all this, you can go ahead and do the line art as well. If you really, really want to. Um, I do like sketchy animations, though. I think it looks really great. But, of course, you know, if you're doing an actual animation or a cartoon or whatever you're doing, you're, of course, you're going to most likely want to do some line art. I want to make this fall slower. All right, cool. So now we have a couple more particles. It looks more water-like. Um, and like I said, this is the time where you can go ahead. This is actually quite small in this animation. So what you can do is you can scale all this up. Um, but what we're going to need to do for that is, is probably going to be kind of tedious. You can do it a couple ways. This is what we have to do. We have to actually go to image and then go ahead and go to resize canvas. And then we'll just have to move the canvas over, which is, it, which is fine. We'll just do that and we'll anchor it to, maybe we'll offset it by, what is that? About like maybe eh, 30, 40 pixels. 30 up and over. There we go. So that's 30 up, and then we can probably do some more, maybe negative 200 maybe even. Yeah, probably even more than that, but yeah. There we go. So I hope you boys and girls enjoyed today's tutorial. Had a lot of fun as always. Uh, and I always enjoy animating. It's a lot of fun. It always looks uh, really great, and I love trying to make it you know, all polished and nice and finished, and I love when it comes out really, really well. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.